These are my power adjusts that I have actually controlling the pumps. So I'll just pull these. The, the case is, my computer's all torn apart because I'm rebuilding it right now, but I just wanted to show some of the components. So this is the power adjust. Um, so you got your 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 five your power coming into it here. Uh, these are the Aquabus going to the, the uh, Quero 5, which I'll show you here in a second. And then uh, you can't really see it here, but this little cord right here is actually the, the uh, three pin uh, power go going back to the pumps. So each one of those is powering one of my pumps. All right, and then around the corner here, we have the actual um, Aquero 5 by Aqua Computer. And so you can see here I have my fans, uh, my case fans, all connected into these inputs here that are on my radiators. Um, here is an, actually an LED right from my reservoir. And then this guy is the aqua bus that goes to my uh, power adjust two controllers. So this, you know, this control that way the, the system can control everything plugged in. Um, here we have the USB connection going to the, the five pin head on the motherboard, and this is one of the temperature sensors I have plugged in to my uh, in an inline temp sensor in my uh, one of my loops, so I can register the liquid temperatures. But that's just a quick hardware overview. Now we'll jump over to the software. All right, well, this will be a brief overview of the AquaSuit 2012 software. Um, currently, as of August 1st, 2012, it is on beta 15. First off, we need to make sure and have Open Hardware Monitor installed and running. Um, this allows you to port over some of the software sensor readings from this program over to AquaSuit and uh, gives you just a lot more sensor data you can pull from. Okay, so here's AquaSuit 2012. Uh, again, as I mentioned, as of August 1st, 2012, it is at beta 15. First thing we need to do is go to the Systems tab under the Quero 5 and perform a firmware update. As you can see here, I've already done that, um, but that is necessary. You will also need to do the same if you have the Power Adjust 2 modules, especially if you have more than one because you have to give each one a unique ID. Under the AquaSuit Settings tab, you can change your desired language and your units, so whether you want to use Celsius, Fahrenheit, liters per hour, gallons per hour, and also you can customize your startup options and also minimization options. The over, main overview page is where you can customize and see all the data you want to see um, when you first start the program up. As you can see here, I have my CPU core temperature, GPU, and fluid temps showing. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, the different fan banks. I have my radiator fans and also my pumps here. Uh, these are visual graphs that show you know, a continual readout of your, of your temperatures across the different data points you have set up. And it's very, very customizable. This is just the basic layout. Um, also, the colors can be customized so as your temperatures increase that you can change it so the color gradients change as well. So if you want it to go from you know, blue, green, red as it gets higher, you can do that. Here's a, another example of a different overview just using a snapshot of your case. Yeah, and you can like overlay the temperatures over the components as they lay out in your system. Next up is the sensor section. Um, here you can actually get readings from the actual, um, you know, plugged-in sensors that you can plug into the the Aquero 5. The only one I actually have plugged in right now is the fluid temp sensor. The rest of these are coming from the software temperature sensors from that open hardware monitor that we showed you earlier. So you can use the two together, and it works out quite well. Here we have the controller section, and this is really where the most powerful features in the AquaSuit come to bear. Um, you can see here I have three different controller curves set up, and so how these work is you enter in data points, both for the temperature of, cert of a certain, you know, whether it be GPU, CPU, whatever, and then a power level for the fans that correspond to that radiator that or that loop to run at. So. As you can see, at 25 degrees, the power is only at 15 percent, and so it, it escalates as the temperature grows. And these are totally customizable. You can really 
uh, do as you see fit. Mine is kind of ugly because I've just been playing with it really quickly. I'll make it, I'll tweak it as I go, but this is just my first attempt with it. And then down here is my GPU. Uh, this one's based off my GPU core for the other radiator that's closest to my GPUs. And then this bottom one uh, is, is my pumps. And so my pumps are controlled based on the fluid temperature in my system. So as the fluid temperature increases, the, f the pumps also increase in the rotation speed. So what I'll do now is just like a, a basic uh, demonstration of how to make a controller. You can see there's a set point controller, two point controller, constant value, curve controller, and an LED controller. Um, we'll just use a constant value for the demonstration here. And so you set that up and then um, what you're going to do is that you're going to uh, set the you know power percentage you want whatever you're controlling to output to. So this would be good for like an LED if you didn't if you didn't want it to shine at 100% at all the time if you wanted it to be kind of more dim you could you could change this um, and then you would select the the uh, the LED output from the the selector here obviously this works the same way with fans as it does LEDs and I don't actually have this LED set up so it's not going to show a value but that's that's just an example of how to do it it's very very simple to set up but very powerful in how it can be customized. This is the fan section where you actually will, you know, give your different fan banks names, whatnot. Um, I actually have my top radiator fans, for example, is, is three fans tied together, and so you can name it, so you can recognize each fan bank. Uh, you want to have on power control if you're going to use the curves, and you can also set your minimum and maximum RPMs for those fans. And here we also uh, see that uh, if you're using a power just two module, your pumps will also show up as fans under the system. That way they can be controlled with the controller curve. Now it's very important to use the start boost with the pump. Um, reason being is that if you have your curve set up to only operate at like you know 50 percent at a lower temperature, your pump may not actually spin up at that lower voltage starting. So the start boost allows it to kick on to a higher voltage at the very beginning, run for about 10 seconds, and then it can drop down to whatever your controller curve has specified. I don't have anything, anything under the output section, so I can't show anything there. There is a pump section, but that only actually shows up if you're using Aqua Computer uh, pumps, and I'm not. I'm using SwiftTech MCP355s. Under the alarm section, you can set uh, alarms to go off. Where, like, if say your say your CPU gets above a certain uh, certain temperature, which means something's wrong, you can have it sound an audible alarm. You have LEDs flash. Um, or you can actually, if you have one of the power uh, aqua computer shutdown modules, you can actually have it shut down your system automatically if a temperature gets too high on a certain component. So it's a cool little safety feature they have built in. Again, very customizable with what you can select and what you can have it do. Um, I don't have anything to show you here, but I just wanted to you know, show the quick options that are, that are there. In addition, there's a timer. Um, don't really know what that use has yet, but I haven't played with it enough yet to see. So that's a basic overview of the AquaSuit software. Again, uh, very customizable and uh, very good at controlling almost every aspect of your system. I highly recommend it.